religious. They're not Christian. They're glass. The two drinkers. All right, can we get back together? Hello. Such flossing my teeth. <laughs> so this is Julian, but uh, we, and we lost his phone, so he's going to tell us why he's here. Eczema. Eczema. Okay. Uh, everywhere? Um, no, but very in a rather spectacular way. Okay. Okay. Can well, we get that on camera, second. Julian? You're going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> Only the legs? A little bit on the face. Okay. Okay. What's your medical history? Um, nothing. Uh, I don't really have one at all. Never been in a hospital? I had a hernia. You had a hernia? Can we get the legs? Can we get the legs? Yeah. I had a hernia operation about five years ago, but other than that, that's probably my only hospital visit. Okay. Uh, parents? Uh, no long health. My father ever went to hospital. Okay. Uh, but they were very strict teetotal vegans. Oh. Uh, not really my story. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you have eczema. <laughs> you should become a vegan. <laughs> so, um, how long have you had the eczema? Uh, when did it start? I had it in a little bit here and there all my life, but since I was turned 40, it became a bit more florid. It's been steadily back patch. It's been there since, back since, since roughly my 40th birthday. Okay. Oh, it's just that patch. I had I've had, patch, it, I had a patch here. It's occasionally I get patches in different places, but that's been constant for you know, many years. And at age 40, it came up. Yeah. Anything happened then? Um, well, I've turned 40. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, Was that sorry. a traumatic event? Was that a good yeah, event? That's true. My, my, my then wife left me about mm -hmm. the same time. And um, yeah, it was quite a bumpy period. Absolutely. OK. So possibly a lot of stress is, is yeah, yeah, around that yeah, time. And then sure. it, it stayed yeah. you know, since then. Yeah. OK. Uh, let's see what we can do. Okay. Put you on the table. May I Face ask how old up. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. May I ask how old you are now? Forty-seven. Thirty-two now. Forty-seven. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Forty-seven. That's great. You're very generous. On my back. Yeah. yeah. Uh, on your back, please. <laughs> no. So he has a patch here and a patch here. Yeah. And. So, and I, I get it on my face. I, yeah, I, I, I can see I some. I constantly put an antifungal uh -huh. on it to prevent it. If I don't do that, it becomes quite florid. An antifungal. Okay. Yeah. Tell us about your diet. Uh, it's poor. You know, <laughs> really rubbish all the time. I, I occasionally have vegetables. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're into the save the vegetables uh, movement. I, yeah, I'm not terribly. Don't think about it terribly hard, but you know just. Tell me what rubbish consists of. Um, a lot of, uh, I'm trying to think, I eat a lot of tinned sardines, <laughs> um, a lot of uh, things, uh, you know, fish from the supermarket, the breadcrumbs on them. Uh, you know, you know, you put <laughs> like, like frozen fish, fish fingers? Fish. Yes, that's, yeah. sort of, that's it, that yeah, sort of stuff. Uh, the cu I like curry, I eat a lot of curry, um, that sort of thing. <laughs> well, the thing is that, fit, you know, seafood and skin conditions don't go well together. Mm, that right? Spicy food and skin conditions don't go terribly well together. So just for your awareness. Okay. So, I, I love pepper and, you know, that sort of thing. All right. <laughs> so, um, So, um, I didn't bring a patchy with me, but um, because it's, well, it's two patches, if, if it's localized, besides whatever I do, um, you know, to, to move things out, I mean, we can start with, it could be stress, but basically, you know, whatever skin issue there is, uh, oh, by the way, can you take this shirt off, because yeah, sure. I'll mindfully go on to touch 15. Thank you. Um, 
so besides whatever I'm looking at systematically, I, I would put Prestex and then cover with aluminum foil and then spark. So for those of you who have Apache, you know, that, that's, you know, because well, it's one. on the edge, sorry, or, or? The Prestex are everywhere. No, no. Um, you, I it's would put the them, dragon, not, so, not surround you, put, you surround, but also put in. Oh, right. on, on, as well. on, on, on it. Yeah. yeah. Press type. Because his is dry. If it was oozing, you may not want to do it in. Okay. Um, what do you mean by press ducts? Is it all tiny round needles that stay in? Yeah. yeah. Tiny, tiny needles. Uh -huh. um, <coughs> you have these press ducts. Okay. Or you have the cheaper okay. versions. Okay. The PNX, you know. Quite expensive. The okay. You know, these are great for to give people. They stay on a lot easier. These don't stay on not so easy. But um, so you put all around the patch. Where, where, where would you put them? Yeah. Where you, would you around, but you can put inside also. You, don't, don't just surround. You you want it. To, then you cover with aluminum foil uh -huh. and spark. Um, spark. Well, that's the thing. If you don't have Apache and stuff, this is only for the people who have. That's what I'm saying. And I don't have it anyway, so don't worry. It, it requires instrumentation. <laughs> uh, I've got a patch. I've got a friend who's got this kind of thing. Yeah. So what so will the pots do? Sorry? What will the potting do to the... What, what is the... The aluminum foil pulls out inflammation. So for a lot of skin... The thing is, okay, this is only for skin disorders that are localized. It's it's a local treatment for the skin. You, I put Prestax on the, on the patch of skin into the patch of skin, I, so I put aluminum foil around it, tape it so the aluminum foil touches. I connect the red and the green of the three bypass cord mm -hmm. to the aluminum foil. The black goes on the patchy. Now the patchy sparks the aluminum foil, take the black clip off, clip off the patchy and connect it to the aluminum foil. Okay. So unfortunately, that's a highly specialized treatment. So I just mentioned it. <laughs> you know, you don't, don't go crazy over it because it's not going to help. Have you done, done a video on that at all? Uh, no, I haven't. I did a class on that a year ago uh, in Indonesia, and I haven't. Uh, I, I was thinking. I mean, they have a video of it, but I, I don't. How often would you do that? Well, I only treat once a week, so I can't. But if you're treating someone that you know, you that's the kind of treatment you can you, you can use often. Every day? If you want. Um, but, you know, because it's not needles, exactly. And you, you can just leave the Prestex in and just then cover with aluminum foil and do the patch. But if it's oozing, don't do it. If it's oozing, don't needle into, I, I wouldn't needle into an oozing area. I mean, I wouldn't no. put a Prestex into a, you know, no. like an open sore. But you can do right next to an open sore. All right, so let's check your fish fingers and your yeah. <laughs> curry. <laughs> so, all right. When I poke here, you just feel my fingers? Mm -hmm. Okay, if you feel anything, oops, sorry, anything different anywhere, let me know. Anything here? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay, how about here? Here? Does this feel the same as this? Um, roughly, yeah. Roughly, okay. All right, so okay. adrenal. How about red nine? Red 12? Sure not, because I'm feeling a little tight here, that's one. It's, uh, it's subjective, it's difficult to discern, but it feels similar. Okay. Yeah. How about here? Uh, the same, I think. Okay. Compare for me the left side and the right side. Oh, that's much more sensitive. That's yeah. okay. Clear. Okay. Good. <laughs> we like clarity. <laughs> Anything here? I'm not worried. No. Okay. All right. don't, don't worry. Don't think about it too much. Just tell me what you feel. Relax. Relax the joint. One, two, three. I think the middle was very more sensitive. Yeah. Okay. How about one, two, three? The same again. The middle? I think so. Okay. Not very tight on the SCM, so. Okay, how about the scalings? About the same, I think. Okay. One, two, three. I think the first felt like the Okay. Yeah. Um, do you tend to overthink? 
Possibly, yes, probably. Yes. Okay. Um, do you tend to worry? Yeah. I tend to obsess, I think, rather than worry. Obsess? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, the reason I'm asking is because, you know, when I'm poking, he does this. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so. It's okay. Yeah. All right. In the neck. Oxy no, no, you don't have to help. Yeah. One, two, three, four. I think the second was more intense. Two? Oh, yeah. Okay. So about, go about a 20, let's yeah. say. And this side. One, two, three, four. I think all about the same. Okay, so really only this one. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold on one second. It's that right side. Yeah. Right Can you tell side us why the one are you taking? Sorry? Can you tell us which point you were pressing? I'm pr I told you I'm pressing on the occiput, and I found okay. go about a 20 on the right okay. side. Just okay. Right. okay, hold on one second. Because I think he does have a kitsu, okay? Which normally is not so relevant, but to some people it is. Okay, how is this point on the right side? On the head. I feel slightly less. Slightly less. Sensitive, okay. Yeah. okay. How much is slightly less? Since you're obsessed, you can give us percentages, right? Oh. I'd say 100%. Actually. 100%. Yeah, less. Yeah. Okay, Plus, good. Yeah. Okay. So this is one case where Oketsu is more meaningful. Okay. The person that comes with the gallbladder 20 right side only, which is him. And he, in my opinion, he has okay, so he just, he didn't say, but I could feel it was tight. Oketsu okay, will tend to show right side gallbladder 20. And then besides releasing the Oketsu okay, liver for lung 5, I also needle into Oketsu. Okay, why is it relevant for him? Because if he has accumulations of toxicity <coughs> because of the curries and the fish fingers and the rubber, you know, and the occasional vegetable, <laughs> and she says that you drink also. I do. <laughs> so, and you know, you know, do, haven't you learned that you never bring, you know, a partner into, into you know, to a consultation? <laughs> it's like they always don't tell the bad. doctor exactly what you don't want them to tell them, you know. Like, that was a yeah. secret. <laughs> Well, I saw you in the pub yesterday. What do you mean it's a secret? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, for that, you know, Oketsu becomes more relevant. But just for anyone, you know, generally I'm not that interested in it. And then he has this one you hate. Okay. So, this one, sorry. How's now? Oh, it's better. How much better? Uh, 40%. Yeah, because yeah, I'm looking at the kidney now enlarged to 15, which is a treatment for skin, also detox liver. All right. Okay, so how much better? I think it's. No obsessive. Uh, it's 80% better. Okay, arm. Yeah. Oh, not better. Not better. Worse. Worse? Yeah. Okay. So or back, you know, as it was. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now? About the same. Okay. Well, he does have something interesting around kidney seven, so I'll try that one. Better, slightly? Slightly. I, I, I love percentage. Hmm? 40% better. 40% better, okay. No, no, kidney. Spleen is behind the bone. Oh, it's okay. No. Uh, 50% better? 50, okay. I'll take the 50 because no. <laughs> it may not get any better than that. So that was the kidney nine Japanese? No, no, uh, there's no Japanese kidney nine. There's only one kidney. kind of kidney nine. Okay, wait, wait. <laughs> there are two kidney nines that have to do with um, drugs. One kidney nine is three fingers below if you're talking about morphine, opiates, addictions. Okay, then it's this one. But any other detox is regular kidney nine. Okay, so we have another, you know, kidney nine is at the base of the gastrocnemius, so you can see the gastrocnemius sort of ends, you know, there's another base at the top. Okay, so there's a base at the bottom and there's a base at the top. Could you Two just show that nine. again for the camera? Yeah. Okay. Please show your legs for the camera. <laughs> so there is kidney nine base here and kidney nine base at the top of the gastrocnemius. The top kidney nine, which we say is three fingers below 10, 
okay, we use for people who are taking opiates, morphine, stuff like that. Any other kind of drug taking or detoxing is this kidney nine, the bottom one. Okay, the top one is only for painkillers. Okay, so he's not, he's not saying I have eczema because at age 40 my wife left me and I took lots of painkillers. <laughs> so, you know, it's like he, it, it's, it's just different. So, all right. And would you also see if um, Aketsu would release the liver? If Oketsu itself will release the liver? Yeah. Oketsu itself he usually doesn't, but it might. But hold, hold on, we could do that. But um, you have here, right? Okay. I don't know if I can, from kidney nine, reach... Hmm? So I'll just grab two. Oh, okay, okay. okay. By the way, is this itchy? It is sometimes. It comes and goes, but it gets very itchy. Okay. Okay. You, you're not feeling anything when I press here. You don't want it. Okay. Fine. Could you bend the mic for me? Thank you, that's good enough. But you're feeling right side here, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, how, sorry about, oh, yeah. how is this now? The, the neck is completely painless. Okay. But the point yeah, on the top is. I understand. Yeah. I'm sorry. All right. It was just a way for me to confirm kidney nine on the left because I don't have a lot of findings. but. The right side, I can go directly against the liver. So I, I'll do liver four, lung five. So liver four and lung five, because I feel okay, so he doesn't say anything about it, but I also proved to myself that he actually has a okay, so because. Oketsu okay, so release gallbladder 20 on the right side. So I'm basically trying to make sure that the blood is flowing well, you know, that, that he has a good way of clean, cleaning out. And now let's go for the kidney nine. Look, now let's, by the way, how is this now? Interesting. Better? Yeah. Okay. And now? Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay. <laughs> what is that, was that kidney nine? Yeah. Kidney nine, yeah. And by the way, no, so uh, Nick, you were right, because before we did Oketsu, this kidney nine, you know, did not. only, and that was also like a little bit like pulling it out, you know, whereas now, um, you know, so yeah, so Do with him, the, the reason, I mean, the reason why we're interested in the liver is to cleanse the blood, mm. you know, so that the skin would, you know, would get better. So, so, so what was the relevance of the, is that just basically the, you have to sort out a Ketsu before you can sort out something underneath it, because you know I'm not going to be a Ketsu Kidney 9, okay, before I did anything, this Kidney 9 only, you know, I, first of all, you didn't do anything, yeah. and then it did, you know, 50%, etc. Then once I did a Ketsu, it did 100%, so all I'm saying is that the Kidney, Clearing Oketsu can be, you know, because I, I, I make it sound like Oketsu is nothing. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. And it's more like a, it, it's, um, it's in response to the fact that we always teach Oketsu as the first finding, and then people get attached to Oketsu and want to do Oketsu on everyone. I'm saying, no, when it's relevant, it's really important. Yeah. But don't make it like the, 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 the thing for absolutely everyone constantly. That, that's my big point. And what clued you into it on this occasion? Was the skin, it's a skin disorder? Really? Because it's a skin disorder. The thing that you want to make sure about with skin is that the blood has good, that there's good flow of blood. So it, it, either it can nourish the, the, the skin or it can take the toxins out. Yeah. In his case, I think, I think yes, it's dry. But I think one of the main things that I would look at with his skin thing is you know, and it is the rubbish diet. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, if you occasionally eat a vegetable, I mean, you know, it's, it's very nice. It saves vegetables. Do <laughs> Sorry? One vegetable. Uh, one vegetable can't do much harm, you know. <laughs> and you can, as long as you can still taste the curry. <laughs> can I ask you something about, you said, if it's right uh, gallbladder 20, then you 
fingers. You check out it the tends to be your kid. Mm -hmm. Okay. But let's say if it was a left or right or a, what would you have? Okay. Occiput, the occiput in general represents two things for me, either autonomic nervous system or it represents endocrine. Okay? Now, if he, but right side only tends to be the oketsotype, just like C3 right side only is liver. Mm -hmm. Okay, so therefore, he's not likely, I'm looking, looking for your own example. <laughs> What's that? Should I just check it down right? <laughs> so, um, So if he has only right side gallbladder 20, it tends to be Oketsu style. And since I felt something like that, now that Oketsu style, you release the Oketsu and then you needle into the Oketsu as well. Okay. So because I felt some tightness in Oketsu, he said nothing. But you know, sometimes they don't feel, but I, I still feel something. By the way, he also it's a callus. Did you do anything with this callus? No, really it's so. just like Ryan, same situation. You know, mm. These calluses that kind of, a, they want to be calluses, but they don't, they're, but they're very soft. I mean, you know. Okay. Oh, this one. Yeah. I usually it will be like much more hard, I mean, you know, dry, mm. and his isn't. Harvey, when you did the, the LI-15, did you feel around to find the sorest place for it? No, you ask the I'm, looking for the, I'm looking for the yes. one that will be most effective, but he I'm already did not have, yeah. by the way, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How is this? It's okay. It's okay. All right. And he, so we're looking for your ex-wife stress, you know, on the in the body still. <laughs> okay. Anything? No. So All right, let me try for the back. He has no, a Sorry? He has quite a strong Ren 9 pulse. Uh, actually, no, what he, it's not a Ren 9 what you say, I know what you're talking about, the, 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 uh, the fluttering. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's an autonomic nervous system. He, he's very, um, no, it's well, not a pulse. It's, be, oh, well, I can't feel, well, hold on one second. Maybe, maybe, maybe I can't feel it. Maybe house split 20 on the left. What it is, it, it's it's a diaphragm, it's a stress-related situation. Now, red nine pulse can also be related to stress, but it's not only stress. You know. What it is, is he's the kind of person that doesn't, his breath isn't smooth. So he breathes like, you know, it, it's the way it, it relates to his autonomic nervous system. So I'm right now looking for what more can I gain if I can find, and then I can try and do something for it. Mm -hmm. So, um, but I, that fluttering is, is not, a, it's not a blood pulse, it's, um, it's a cheap pulse. <laughs> it's only on the left side. <laughs> so, any discomfort? Mm -hmm. uh, T7 to T5 area. How about the cervicals? One, two, three. I think two is slightly slightly. Slightly. Well, yeah. Okay, that's kind of a liver thing. Okay, yeah. how about oh, something here, no? Uh, yeah, yeah. And yeah, how about this? It's not this. So this. Yeah. Are you pressing? I am pressing uh, cervicals. I think that will be C2, C3. Okay. I'm, I'm looking to see how can I affect the nervous system. Okay. Hi, so I'm just looking for reflexes. So you have, what, no, here. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay, now it's ouch, for real. Yeah. How's now? Reduced. By how much? Uh, half. Half, okay. Is it Sanjo 5? Well, Sanjo 3 is a young, is half of Yao Tong Shou. Okay. <laughs> so I just want to see how much the fluttering is affected by that. It doesn't seem to quite do that. All right, let me just recheck here. How's it? Still some? It feels much better. Okay, but it's still some? Still, yeah. Sorry. Okay, relax. Now, 
almost completely gone. Compare with? I think gone. You think gone? Okay. Yeah. So Sanjao 5, that's... Sanjao 3 on this side, Sanjau. and Sanjao 8 on this side. Let's just see if that's... Why Sanjao 3? Yeah. Because I was thinking, Sanjao 5 didn't do it. I should have gone for Sanjao 8, but San, he said Sanjao 3 did do the job. So I'm thinking maybe it's more like a C1 subluxation, even though it's not exactly the area it's supposed to reflect on. But it's close enough. On the opposite side. The Sanjao 3, same side. Sanjo 8, opposite side. It's still... If it's a diaphragm thing with third toe... Yeah, but... It's I'm sure. Hmm? I'm sure. Um, no, the third toe is related to, but hold on. Okay. It doesn't quite have the pulse for a third toe, but... We could... No, no, it's okay. So... Well, it doesn't disappear, you mean? It doesn't change. It, it isn't that, it, it's not just that it doesn't disappear, it doesn't have that to it. Okay. It doesn't have the tightness. Yeah. Exactly. Um, okay, so. I'm sorry. Okay, so Fern and Nick, it's up to you too, because it's harder for me to see from this position to tell me if the mm -hmm. fluttering is still there. Wait, wait, give it time. Still there so it's far. It's different. It's like that. It's mm -hmm. different. You can see in and out. Okay. All right. Compare with Jue of third toe. I'll explain the Jue of third toe in a second. In the first one is that. First one? First one. First one. First one. Oh, everybody agrees. <laughs> All right. So which one is that? Is it the second? Under the third toe. Under the third. Yeah. What I tried, I'll explain this this business of Chui in a second. That would, you know, but he. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Um, livers seem to be the strongest reflex, and yet, have you put any liver points in? Kidney 9 large, this 15, is considered liver. Oh, for the details? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I don't have to go for, um, you know, if that didn't work, then I have to go, okay, is it, you know, by the, oh, wait, 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 wait. liver 5, is it? Is there any mileage in liver 1? Or, or at least, can you tell me when there is for mileage skin, in liver one? Mileage from liver one? Yeah, there's lots of mileage from liver one when, when it's liver deficient. But I don't think it was liver deficient to begin with. Which one would it not? Liver five. It's a good friend of kidney nine. Good friend of kidney for, for, for detox. Hmm? Do they of course, it's on the bone. Right on top. Right on top. Right on top Rather than in the, in the roof. No, the groove is spleen. The groove is, this is spleen seven. And, but he doesn't have a number five on this side. <coughs> yeah, we'll call that. On the bone. Always on the bone. Liver is, for me, liver is on the bone. And did you say liver five is a good friend of kidney nine for skin? For conditions? skin, yeah, yeah. So, um, for example, if they have poison oak, I always do um, uh, liver five as well. So let us know if it gets to be too, too unhappy. Have poison oak, what do you do as well? <laughs> Sorry? Is it the, the, the needle that you have? Yeah. yeah. Um, 
It is the I think it felt something. Yeah, you'll you, 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 you know which one it works. <laughs> <laughs> I do add, if, if it's like an inflammatory, if it's oozing or inflammatory, I add liver 5 to, to kidney 9. To kidney Moxa. Um, liver 5 is always Moxa. Oh, oh. I started after you got up to get with a bird. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're really just trying to be hard to be too small. Just and okay, keep. Here's your challenge, Daryl. Here's your challenge. Okay, forget that. Make your hands a little fluffier, and what I want you to do is work small area. I'm exaggerating, but this, try and do this. Don't pull away. At all possible, stay in the area. See, you moved away. Keep yourself here, so, so especially since you're on your knees. Oh, sure. No, that's so, okay. If I'm See. on my knees, it's easier. Yes, I'm okay. <laughs> He's not saying I'm burning. Okay. How's Joan doing? Hmm? See, he doesn't even know who she is. <laughs> He's not burning. Well. Which oh. side? Well, uh, ouch. Now he knows who John is. <laughs> when you marked the liver five, was that uh, you, you found uh, something? I'm finding a dent in the bone. Yeah, so you, that takes precedence over the 50 halfway in between. Forget the halfway in between. Just find it. The bit. reason she says halfway in between is because it's not five to and above. Yeah, okay. But it's never halfway, it's usually below halfway. Okay. You know, it's like it's an expression that she uses about this halfway that I don't think is totally helpful. The only thing that it's helpful, in my opinion, is that it's it's generally more than five ton. Okay. So you should go roughly halfway to go down, down look for a, a hole. Go roughly halfway, start going yeah, down, I mean, look, look for a I, hole. Yeah. This is not halfway. Yeah. And by the way, it's halfway to spleen nine, not to the knee. Right. So this is not quite halfway. This one is almost halfway. I did couldn't find any bumps, any dents in the bone. Yeah. Well, isn't the measurement of the leg down to spleen nine? Don't they say 13 soon? I think that's something. Yeah. Yeah, nobody can read all of these things. Aside, but that was from the jury. Yeah, exactly. The, the measurements are not uh, are, are different. Sorry, I believe that spleen nine to the ankle bone is. is uh, 13. So if you don't have the, the indentation of the bone, you just do Then there's way. no liver 5. <laughs> <laughs> then it, the point doesn't exist. That's why this point yeah, went yeah, much higher, because I could yeah. find somewhat of a oh, so ah. Don't forget, his eczema is on this side, so maybe that's why liver 5 shows on the left side, and the right side shows very tiny amount. So what is, so that point is just your location mm -hmm. of the indentation of an indentation of the right? Yes, so yeah. So, so you, you felt something there? Or Sorry? How did you find this liver five on the right? The liver five on the right. There was a little so indentation. Right. There was, sorry. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to go away. What if, the, the, if there's more than one indentation? Uh, pick the one. If, if you have findings, mm -hmm. pick the one you personally have. Actually, no. Oh, that's hot. Which one? <laughs> I'm assuming. You are the that's left? Good. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. Is it okay now? Um, yeah. <laughs> Are you sure? It's a durable. <laughs> <laughs> so large intestines... That's what happens when you, you eat curries. It's the vegetables that did it. It's the vegetables that did it. Okay. So you no, he said he, li he likes hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you're treating it like more as liver excess but not really fully I'm it's definitely it, well there's different liver excesses it's definitely not a liver deficient well it's actually it's an undefined liver it's not a liver excess in the sense of it doesn't have mouth sores it, it's not physical liver damage he doesn't say I have hepatitis and they say I have cirrhosis or you know 
if he did, then we'll I look at that. But he has he has a liver detox issue. Now I might add fatty liver. That could be an interesting possibility. Would um, the treatment change at all if the person had the eczema on the inside of the foot here? It's only localized. Not necessarily. Well, his is localized. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, two that, that places. Same one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, uh, it's still the same, um, assuming that they, sh you know, if you can justify kidney the enlarged and protein by them changing something in the body, same treatment, not 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 an issue. Mm -hmm. And you'd still do the press tax and the foil and the. I would still do it. Yeah, I mean press tax. It's a press tax. It's not. Mm -hmm. um, most people will tolerate it. Mm -hmm. so. Would you study the marks on liver five if that's where the eczema was? Sorry? Would you if there was eczema on liver five? Yes. No, okay. I would yeah. not. Okay. No, thank okay. you. Okay. So, how is the liver now? You didn't like something you wanted. I think it's better. Yeah. It's just like the bracket. Sorry? Uh, that's my right shin. That's my patient. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for interfering. No, no. Um, it's okay. I mean, it's just. It's okay. It's still some? No, I think it's all right. The reason I'm thinking fatty liver possibility is because um, he's not like obese or, you know, he's just teeny chubby in the belly, you know, not, not a huge thing. But because, see, this is the thing, because she says he drinks lots, there's a good chance that, you know, there's, you know, it's okay. Okay, here a little bit. I think it's okay, actually. Yeah. How about here? Fine. Okay. No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't be so eager to help. Sorry. Anything? Um, a little bit painful first. Is that's the first one? Actually, that's one. No, that's all fine. Oh. Yeah, there's something. Something there. Work, okay, yeah. that might be. How much better? Completely. Completely. Okay. So fatty liver treatment is right side stomach 25, right side liver 13. Unless huge person, okay, the kind that I, you know, you don't have so many in this country, but you know, in America you have a fair amount more. The kind they're on the table and they're spilling over. <laughs> You know, it's like they're just huge. You know, the kind of person that get, they get on the bus and they need two seats. You know, then you you can't just do stomach 25, liver 13. You have to start on the left side. Gallbladder 26 on the left side. Oketsu. Ren 6. Then stomach 25, left uh, liver th uh, 13. The reason why... Sorry, could you repeat the protocol? Left gallbladder 26. Left stomach 27, center rent 6, unless pulse is rapid, right stomach 25, right liver 13. If person is not obese, right, just right stomach 25 and liver 13. So you, you just, okay, so what happens is when somebody is very large, okay, there's a lot of fat, the needles, there's fat that sort of pushes against, the, the needle is trying to move, and the fat is like doing its own thing. So the stimulation can't move. You have to jump start the needles. So for example, somebody who's like, you know, like huge, and you're doing points on the kidney, or you're doing points on the spleen, and it's, you need to shuttle them with something in the thigh. Because there's all this weight moving down. The needle's trying to do something, and the weight is got not worked. No, no. So you you say you need inner yin and you need a spleen ten in order to keep the stimulation going, because it's just too much there. Okay. So the same thing with a beast person when you do fatty liver, you need to like push it a little more because there's all this, you know, there's all this stagnation if you like. You know. So you start on the left side, left gallbladder twenty six left stomach 27, rent 6, then you, you already pushed, now you can do stomach 25, liver 13. If there is a rapid pulse? Don't do rent 6. That's just a Yeah. And with him, was it scalance or the SMC? That the SCM is actually quite soft in him. 
Okay, so yeah. you were but checking I did the find it's, They're more like in, in behind. Well, no, because I couldn't find anything here and because I have the idea of fatty liver, okay, I'm thinking, okay, I, mean, I might as well. It's just two needles, not the end of the world to do. So what I'm doing is I'm looking for a way to confirm my two needles by anything. You can uh, confirm it against 220. Uh, I don't care. So, so somebody is still positive. Yeah. If he okay. still, yeah, if he had something on the liver, I would have used the liver. Okay. 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 Any questions? I just have to feel this. Okay. Yeah, you can talk to the doctor. I'll get some to wipe. So the, the diet, what would you recommend diet-wise, Eddie? Okay, let's part this way. Dark leafy greens, mm -hmm. um, you know, to clear the liver. So, uh, do you guys have dandelion greens here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And dandelion greens, you have to cook a little bit longer than most greens because they're a little bit more bitter. Okay. Um, any, anything on the bitter side in general would be good for him. Um, what are bitter foods? Hmm? What, what, like what? Greens. Uh, bit, bitter greens, you know, like mustard greens, uh, things like that, or in lemon some juice. Years. Sorry? Lemon juice? I would call lemon juice bitter. Oh, okay. uh, I mean, you, I would say, you know, lemon juice may help liver or gallbladder, but I, it wouldn't. I, I don't know if I'd recommend it because also lemon astringes. So if you are stringing someone with a skin problem, sure. you're stopping them from express. I mean, the, they're expressing something. It it gets pushed out. There's a reason it needs to be pushed out. What you want to do? Um, okay. There's a hold. On. So I would recommend more dark leaf. Have you ever heard of something called kale? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's in a dictionary. <laughs> <laughs> kale charred collards. Um, but the king of greens is really dandelions. Okay. Um, then I would rec I wouldn't recommend fish because I mean first of all I don't get involved with fish and meat because I don't eat either so I can't how can I tell people you know chicken is good for you chicken is bad for you as far as I'm concerned she shouldn't be eating them so it's like whatever you know I'm not getting there um, but I think that fish for skin problems is not good and from my understanding theoretically lamb for skin problems is not good too hot is what too they say. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I that's what I heard. Um, but in terms of what I would so I, I would look at cleaning up the diet to some extent. You could try do you do coffee? Yeah. Okay. You could try, I don't know, it's hard to say. Um, you know, doing but the other thing is dark leafy greens will alkalize in a little bit. So hopefully also help with some of the stress. Um, I would look at reducing the, the drinking, you know, and see if that affects it. And well, that was not a flutter, that was a flutter. <laughs> and, and the other thing is, I, you could try after, the problem is you do not want to, you cannot detox someone unless they stop intoxication first. Mm -hmm. So you need to get someone on a relatively decent diet, then you can put them on, say, a juice diet. You know, do beet, ca beet carrot apple juice for three days. You know, so very little. You know, if you have to have solid food, do some very well cooked rice or something like that. You know, like rice soup type thing. And then after three days of that, you can try and do something like coffee enema and see if there's a strong reaction for that. Okay, because coffee. Uh, it's not so much that it moves the bowels. Well, it does move the bowels, but what it will do, the movement of the bowels is going to start yanking on the liver, so it's going to actually pull stuff out of the liver. Okay? But there's no point in doing that with someone who is basically, you know, constantly intoxicating themselves. <laughs> so, but, you know, and then the other problem is not, you know, there's a certain percentage of patients that they hear the word, enema and then with coffee on top of it, it's like, okay, I have a friend who, an acupuncturist, who goes, all these people, they're taking the coffee the wrong way. <laughs> it's like, because he only thinks of coffee enemas. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, why are they drinking coffee? Um, but coffee enemas are very good to, to clear the liver. 
So, but basically dandelion and greens and then juicy, which is what I would look into if you really. But everybody has different motivations. That's not everybody's desire. You're just digging them out of the field. It's the leaf. It's part of the dandelion is poisonous, isn't it? So it's no, the I don't. Th unless it's the flower, but it's the yeah. leaves. It's the leaf of the dandelion. It's the leaf of the dandelion, or the root is fine yeah. also. Okay. But the root is really, you yeah. have to cook and it's really bitter. The, yeah. the greens, you could just go, you saute, say, with garlic. And you just, you know, kale you can do for three seconds. And, you know, kale you can eat raw. Um, but dandelions, they, they are bitter, so you want to kind of saute them and, like, you know, um, blanch out that, that bitterness a little bit. How do you do the roots? What do, you, do you actually dry them? Do they dry the roots? Or what do no, you do? okay, the roots usually, most people, what most people do, you create powders from, I mean, you know, you see dandelion, um, you know, in pills and stuff constantly. Mm -hmm. Very few people actually cook it and eat it. But if you want to, you could just like turn it. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's, it's very similar. Mm -hmm. um, but usually with the roots, you, people make tea out of the root. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can slice it maybe and, and boil coffee. it in one. Sorry? Dandelion coffee. Yeah, oh, like chicory coffee, coffee kind of thing? Yeah, chicory. Is that what it is? But chicory is another very good one. Well, here's a great coffee for you. <laughs> Dandelion <laughs> coffee. <laughs> From Starbucks. <laughs> 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 um, do you want to come in and we'll, try, we'll do, we'll do mm -hmm. moxa again and see if that helps? I mean, might as well try. We've, we've got another patient probably coming in about five minutes. Would artichoke help? Artichoke. Artichoke. Regular artichoke? Yeah, isn't that supposed to be good for the liver as well? Cleansing for the liver. I don't know. I haven't heard. It's usually good for reducing cholesterol as well, artichoke. Yeah. Are you talking about artichoke or Jerusalem artichoke? No, no artichoke. artichoke. Regular. Okay. I don't know. I honestly don't know anything about it. Um, it doesn't really grow well where I am. Um, it's too cold. So if you have them, they, they produce like one or two artichokes and they're kind of like stringy. So they're not really. Uh, so I don't, like, don't know. And Mizuna greens? Hmm? Mizuna? Mizuna, I think that like any other green, I would say yes. Okay. And when you talk about eating kale without cooking, I, t I take it that's very sort of young, uh, young leaf. It's not the really, really dark stuff, is it? You can do the really dark stuff. You can do the really dark stuff as well. Would you recommend following those in the um, I don't know. I don't have much experience with it. I, I don't know how quickly it will get to the next. I mean, colloidal silver is what? It's different than antibiotics, but it's not, actually, it's not all that if it killed somebody in antibiotics. Really? It's either good or Doing something like this. Because I'm still, I mean, what I would recommend to someone with cystitis, especially for taking any antibiotic, is build up your, your flora. You know, so look at, you know, probiotics. And the problem with probiotics uh, is that most, what most people do with probiotics, they just take probiotics. Um, still sensitivity on liver five, which can happen because of, we, you know, we do it so many times. It's not like a real burn, but I, I don't want to like, you know, push it one day after. So I'll do spin five, which is another anti-inflammatory. So spleen five and liver five we often use together for uh, lower jowl inflammation. You only um, moxa on spin five as well? Uh, no, this can be needle as well. Mm -hmm. So 
sorry, Abby, you were talking about building up the flora with probiotics. Oh, so, <laughs> sorry about the probiotics. Um, the thing is, taking probiotics is not a very is, is not very helpful if you don't feed them. Okay, so it's it's like saying you know if you have kefir or or yogurt you know culture you have to give it lacto you have to give it something. So what you need to do is you need to take fiber in or you know with the probiotic. Otherwise, you're just kind of like um, creating a situation where where you know because the you, you need to help them proliferate. That, that was the point. So I would, somebody who has, you know, recurrent cystitis, I would look into doing that. Dietary fiber enough for that? Okay, or Sorry? Extra. Would dietary fiber just in your vegetables be Quite enough? honestly, I would, well, depending on the, what, how many vegetables, which side? Yep. My side, okay. We already know <laughs> that it's me. She doesn't have to overemphasize it. <laughs> so how would you take the fiber if it wasn't dietary fiber? It's much um, much much more than that. Uh, how I would take the fiber, you know, just in um, so a little bit of juice, the, you know, the common potential and the human now. You know, there's different products. You, I mean, I wouldn't take it in a pill because you want it with water or with, with some liquid. So you shake, say, a tablespoon of, um, there's different kind, you know. Uh, oh, you, you, well, in America, they just sell, you know, there's a whole bunch of, there's psyllium, for example, well, just which is called fully Yeah, but that's just one type. But you actually want, um, oh, sorry, that was me. What about grains? Just whole grains? No, I would actually not do whole grains at all. I would avoid mm -hmm. grains as much as possible because of the, you know, they convert to sugar so easily. So if you, you're producing sugar, you're producing more inflammation. Yeah, but we have to live on something. We just can't eat only vegetables. Huh? You'll be surprised you can. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you I'm suffering too much? Yeah. Okay, so I'll start. I'll do something else. That's not my So what about seeds and... Uh, Sorry? Seeds and nuts. Seeds, okay. They're not related to, you know, and they have oils. Um, what are you thinking of fiber? Are they seeds as a fiber? Sorry? Seeds as a fiber. No, 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 nothing to do with the, with the fiber. She said if they only eat vegetables, oh, okay. what are they going to live yeah. on if they don't eat grains, you know? I think the problem is we actually eat too many grains. Mm. Uh, what about pulses? Would you eat the pulses or not in the same way? Pulses, like um, pulses? beans or lentils? Um, the, okay. It all depends on the person. Are you okay? No, no, no. no. Oh. The thing is, most beans are starchy. Okay, so they're not they're not as, they're not terrible. But the thing is, they are they are going to they're they're not going. If somebody is okay, let's start this way. I actually know the answer. Do you love sugar? Do you love carbs? Do you eat a lot of bread and stuff like that? Okay. No, no, no. I, but, but besides vegetables, yeah. what, what do you? I do eat bread, but I wouldn't say it's a lot of bread. Okay. I do like rice. Okay. I guess I do eat peas and carrots. Okay. There, there, te there, there tends to be people who tend to get a lot of inflammations, tend to have some sugar background mm -hmm. to them. Okay, and it doesn't have to be sugar, it can also be simple carbs. In order to educate the body away from carbs, if you're replacing the carbs with beans, beans, most beans, with the exception of lentils, are relatively starchy. So there's not much, you know, you're, you're kind of, not, you're better off going for, for a non, for less starch in general, that's all. Okay, I'm only asking what, what to eat then. If one doesn't eat meat, if one doesn't eat fish, if one doesn't eat uh, starchy, gra like grains and, and, and uh, 
means it pulses. So what is left? There's a whole world of vegetables out there. What's the problem? Fruits, vegetables. What, 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 Just fruits, fruits and vegetables. Nuts, and seeds. Nuts and nuts. seeds. Yeah, we still, I mean, people might, how come the grains and meat became the, the you, without that suddenly we'll die? Well, it's the protein aspect, perhaps, are you asking? Or? Oh, well, yes, that for example, vegetables. protein no. aspect, for example. Uh, and, and also uh, the, the energy, like a, like a, like a brown rice kind of which releases uh, sugar relatively slower than the uh, plain sugar. Okay, yeah, but you're not having either sugar. You just, if you're having mostly fed, you're, in my opinion, your food should consist mostly of vegetables, some fruit, you can have some grains if you want. I'm, I'm not a paleo, you know, I'm not a paleo yes. diet person. But the thing is, most of us tend to have lots more starch and carbs than we should. Look at it. Look at it this way. What do most people have for breakfast? Toast, oh. and cereal. Toast yeah. cereal, or they're very Jam. good and they have oatmeal. Sugar. Okay, that's still a grain. Now, it's a grain that has a better sugar release, etc., and it has fiber, but it's still a grain. What do most people do for lunch? Sandwich. 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 What do then do we do for dinner? Pasta. 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 <laughs> okay, now I, I made it sound a little worse than it actually is, but look at how much grain we're eating. We're a culture that's totally obsessed with grains. Okay. And yet we're not terribly healthy. We don't have a lot of energy, like according to you. We should be, you know, fabulous. So every medicine is a countermeasure to an illness. It's not a perfection. Okay, you can't take it and say, okay, obviously I don't eat vegetables, then I should only eat vegetables. No, it's just a, you know, it's like, look at, are you eating fish sticks and curries all day? You know, and with a few beers. Or can't, you know, so to a person like that, you say, well, eat vegetables, you know, only vegetables, you know, because you know they're going to cheat, because that's what people do with diets. <laughs> <laughs> so they'll eat a certain amount of something, but they'll eat, you know, ho hopefully they'll increase their intake of dark leafy greens and reduce their, you know, by the way, al what is alcohol? Sugar. Sugar. Sugar or grains. You know, it's fermented grains. In the case of beers, if, it, if it's wine, it's fermented, you know, fruit. You know, it's like... It's just not a good way to eat. What about yeah. dairy oh, that converts to sugar? So all the lactose is, is that? It all delicious? depends. Um, if you're if you're doing it through yogurt, it's not as big. It's not a big deal because the um, bacteria has basically converted all the lactose already. Mm -hmm. So yogurt is one thing, but any other dairy product. Now the other problem with dairy is that how many how many of us are probably lactose intolerant without actually knowing it? Mm. You know, so we're creating problems. It, it's not its not at the level where it's like, oh my God, it's really horrible, I'm suffering horribly. But there is enough going on there to to create a problem. And with vegetables, in, in the situation we're talking about, in the context we're talking about, things like carrots, peas, corn, vegetables with a lot more sugar, is that something to, um, to worry just be about? mindful about? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the carrots are not a problem. The peas are starchy. I would, I, I would not, peas are not my, uh, you know, peas are like beans. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just saying, yeah. I guess it's just when I'm stressed. You know, yeah, it's yeah. Stressed yeah, I understand. It's, you know, um, I'm just, I'm yeah, but there's like also a background now. of weakness. Yeah. Yes. And that weakness can be, if that weakness is then exacerbated by sure. a diet, sure. then yeah, yeah, it's the stress, but it's also like the sure. background sure. behind it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, okay. Is the next person out there? I think so. Okay. <coughs> Let me flip to Julian. Five, five, five minutes still. Five minutes, okay. Are you good? Shall <coughs> 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 <No. coughs> All right, let's take Julian out and turn him over. I just wondered, Abby, what you thought about the whole um, fermentation thing. Some people maintain that fermented um, products can be quite good for you, and others maintain that they're actually a, a toxic for the body. Well, 
Are we talking about kimchi and yogurt? I think so it's, yeah, it's a general, it's a general thing. No, no, because it's, well, the thing is, it depends on, on what we're talking about in fermentation. Okay. Uh, because we're going to have you turn over. We'll be with you in five minutes, okay? So just roll over on my front. Yeah. Roll over onto your front. I really want to do, uh, do you do third uh, toe? Well, oh, third toe. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. oh. He was a good sport. He was willing to turn over. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have to walk on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> and we get far worse with my toe. Yeah, that would give, <laughs> give you some day shoe, wouldn't it? Sorry? Walking on the third toe would give you some day shoe, wouldn't it? So the thing with fermentation, I think fermented products are good for you. Yeah. Personally, I think they're, the people who say they're bad for you, you know, are people who or are worried about candida type stuff, right? Or I mean, high in histamine they're supposed to be as yes, well, aren't they? Yes, high in histamine. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, so yeah, so, so like you know, if somebody, you know, get, I think any kind of food thing, the person has to try, and if they have an adverse reaction, it's mm. not for them. But it doesn't mean that everyone, you know. Yeah. But I think a certain amount. I mean, the, the idea is that they do help build up, your, you know, your, your intestinal flora. Yeah. So you know, I think it comes from the um, like the hygiene school from like Shelton mm -hmm. and you know all that tradition. Know. Yeah, the, 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 the sort of initial hygiene movement. Initial yeah. hygiene, which is what? What what does it say? Uh, th that's um, they were the people that first started. They're against the fermentation, or uh, yeah, they're against, and they first started popularizing, you know, colonics and and fasting. I think in, in the West. Huh. And they're against fermentation. Uh, the the first. Well, of yeah, I mean the thing about you know col colonics are a weird phenomenon because if you do too, if you do too much of it, you actually kind of sw keep sweeping away your 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 yeah. microbiome. It's not, so it doesn't sound like, I mean, it's something that it should be done in a limited fashion, mm. you know, rather than, if people are constantly doing it, it, I, it doesn't feel like, unless they're, you, they're using colonics with stuff in it and kind of replenishing. So I, I don't know, there's a whole field I don't know anything about. So, all right. Anything? One, two, three, four. No. Here, I'm looking for the liver on the, in the back. No? A little bit? No. no. Okay, well, I'm trying to never. Okay. Okay, how about anything here? Nothing? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, we work by theory, in which case, right? You ask me, what happens when somebody says nothing? Okay. So we know it's liver, so left UB35. I'm sorry. Okay, now that showed. Always oh, left UB35 for right UB1718 area. It's continuation of portal venous goes to rectal venous. Okay. And then he has a skin problem, so something oh, to do something with there, oh, yeah. something here. Okay, yeah. great. Okay, so bloodline shows. Okay. So 17 and 18. On the right. Hmm? On the right. Ah, uh, this one was on the left. On the left. Yeah. Thank you. And now I'm going to the right. And you'll be right. 18, will be right only. Anything? Mm -hmm. hmm? No, I think it's okay. In the case where there's, it's clearly been a sort of liver type pattern from the front that it shows in the back. You're happy then you to can do continue the on the back. Quartals, yeah. bladder 18, mm -hmm. 19, that kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he does have something a little bit sticking out here on the UB18 area. So he doesn't feel, but I feel a little bit weird. Comfortable? Mm -hmm. Right, and now I'm oh, confused right. with the direction of the needle. Yeah. So this yeah. one is the Watteau. This is a bladder line. This is a Watteau. Oh, this is Watteau. Right, okay. 
different. Uh, so yes, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're yeah, different. Yeah. There are different angles. They have different angle altogether. The Wato location is because that's ouchy. Sorry. Because no, because I told you the vertebrae has. I would have done bladder, but when I felt the vertebrae, there was a little sticking out situation. Okay. That's why I chose the Wato. I could have chosen the bladder, and then the needle would be totally different direction. Yes. Back. Let's see if that helps. You're welcome. Hello. Hello. You're on. <laughs> uh, sorry. Got her. 